Okay, I've already discussed in prior videos how I set up the D500 for birds in flight. I went over the autofocus system, how I use it. I went over auto ISO, how I use it. And I went over how to set the D500 up to shoot raw. I've made a playlist that includes all those videos. If you haven't seen them, I highly suggest you watch them because it, uh, it has helped me capture some incredible pictures of birds in flight. So the first thing you'll notice on my setup here is this heavy-duty telephoto lens support. Um, it's really, really cool because it will hold the lens and the camera in any position and you can rotate it 360 degrees. So I know a lot of people use this kind of stuff for birds in flight. I don't. I only use this support system when I'm shooting video because it allows me to pan and up and down and do all this cool stuff. Um, if I'm shooting birds in flight or any wildlife, I prefer to handhold because it gives me more freedom. I don't want to be you know, strapped down and attached to a tripod, so to speak. But this thing is cool. If you have a problem carrying this lens, this lens can be heavy. Um, I think it's like right around four pounds, maybe a little bit more. So it, it's helpful in that sense, but I use it for video. So I've been using the Nikon or Nikkor 200S 500 f5.6 lens to capture birds in flight. It's an incredible uh, lens. I love it. Here's what I do to set it up. Very simple. I have it on automatic focus. I have it set to fo full focus. I have VR on and I have the VR set to normal. I don't use sport. I've just had really, really good luck with normal. Um, and that's how I set this lens up with the D500. So to, if you don't know how to use the modes in the D500, it's really simple. This mode button, you press that button, and then this back dial changes the modes. And you can cycle through uh, all of the priority modes, uh, shutter priority, aperture priority, um, I use manual. Manual gives me full control over the things I need to do birds in flight. So I also set my shutter speed to a minimum of one two thousandth of a second when I get there. If that's not providing me with enough light, I will lower the shutter speed, but that also causes a problem for birds in flight because it can cause them to be blurred. I also start the aperture at f5.6. That gives me more light into the lens, but it can cause a problem if I manage to get a bird on the full frame, you know, if you have this giant bird that flies up to you or behind you or beside you and you get a full wing spread and it covers the entire frame, f5.6 is often not enough to provide the depth of field to where you get the entire bird and all of its feathers completely tack sharp and focused. So if that's the case, then you can experiment and change um, to like f6.3, f7.1, or even f8. Hopefully that doesn't strangle too much light when you're trying to do that. So the next thing I do is I, I start experimenting immediately with any kind of white birds I can find. And, and white birds are generally a huge problem to photograph because early in the day, you know, the white bird might be right here and the sun is over here and the sun is shining directly towards this white bird and the white bird acts like a giant reflector and reflects all that light right back to your camera. And what happens is the You'll take a picture and you go, oh great, I got a picture of this beautiful white bird and then you'll go home and look at it or you'll look at the back of the screen and see that the, you've lost all the feather detail because all the highlights are blown out and you've overexposed the bird. So what I like to start with, with my D500 and this camera, is I do exposure compensation. That's what this little plus and negative button is right here. So I push in this button and then this back wheel, turn it and you'll see the value has changed to negative 0.3. So I start at negative 0.3, and that softens the light on the bird and usually gives me enough to where they're not super, super bright and reflecting the light back. If that doesn't work, then I drop it down even more to like uh, 0.07 or sometimes even an entire stop down 0.1. Um, that's, for me, that's the fastest way to change uh, settings like that when you have some kind of reflective object in the frame. And you can go the opposite direction too if you need to. You can raise up the exposure and uh, overexpose certain areas of the frame if you would like. So that's how I use the D500 paired with this Nikon 200-500 millimeter lens to capture birds in flight when I'm out there in the wild. And I have to say that this lens camera combination is absolutely incredible. The only problem I have is finding enough place to store all of the fantastic images I'm getting because I'll go out three or four hours at a time every single day and come back with hundreds, sometimes thousands of just beautiful images. I've never missed 
really anything with this camera combination. Um, it's just fantastic. There should be a little bumblebee in the upper left hand corner. Go ahead and click on that and subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of videos planned. If you like the video, click the thumbs up and always leave comments. It doesn't matter if it's good, bad, questions, whatever. I'll do my best to answer any questions and I love hearing what everybody thinks of the videos.